do remember you always have something intrinsically of value that you can rely upon to experiment with so that you eventually source inside of you so that you know what to do. Rather than continuing the mind's trip of trying to change the world outside of you, remember the present reality. This here now is actually what creates the past, which informs the future. The only thing that you have access to is here and now. This body, this vehicle, this form, as it's lived and expressed now. Every moment, every breath that you take, come into this space of here and now. And if you are somebody who needs time to process things, you're going to need these processes or digestions of the experiential wave, or the tribal wave, or the um, spike wave, the, the knowing or not wave. You're going to need some time to process a collection of nows in order to suss out what's right for you, or to feel out, or to um, move towards what is right. And when you're not doing anything, when it feels like boredom, 35 is a gate of boredom. So we've got some um, stagnation, stuckness. We've got some potential for, you know, really wanting to do something. And then like, I want to get going and then nothing's happening. And if you're feeling limited and sad and depressed, this too shall pass. Deep breath, come into this space of here and now. And if you're having trouble with work, remember, um, there's this, False delineation between what work is and what play is. Play is supposed to be that thing that you do for fun. And work's supposed to be work and it has to be hard and there's going to be suffering. I mean, those are two polarities. But what about the middle? What if your work was your play? What if this thing that you did was something that you could do all day? I'm a non-energy type, but an energy projector. And the thing that fascinates me the most studying the esoteric realms like human design, especially human design, because it gives us a lot of quote unquote answers. Now answers are not always truth because you can come up with, this is the gate of formalization, youthful folly. You can come up with all kinds of answers, but is it the right question? The right question brings us to the right answer. And the right answer is whatever is true inside, that truth inside of you. It's time to succeed for you, to be satisfied for you to be adventurous and to have the peace of doing whatever it is your freedom of action leads you to do because it's right for you, not because somebody else has got you in shackles or in chains. It's time for you to be surprised by what life offers you. And so in order to get into that spaciousness of awareness of truth, experimenting with your self, this body, this vehicle, this form, with you being your own authority. There is no authority outside of you that can tell you what to do. And it's time to end the addiction to someone else having the answer. If I go over there, maybe they'll have the answer. If I go and get this particular person to tell me what my chart says, maybe they'll give me the answer. No, you don't need that. This show, this movie, this dance of Maya, and this play, this illusion of separation, we're all one human collective and yet some of us are on the path of individuation so if you're an outsider or an outlier like me and you have the capability to source within in those challenging moments when there's so much amiss or things going astray too much chaos of the day this is fear of chaos okay what the thing the week is going to bring to you when people fear chaos what do they do they look to try to figure out the pattern or the logic of where things are going. So this is the biggest problem for the people who are abstract, especially thinking that, well, if only I do X, Y, and Z, I'm going to get that. If I add one plus one, it's going to make two. Actually, no, it's three. Now, literally speaking, when you put two people together, you get a third thing. So do you love that third thing, that relational thing that you have between you and the other? If not, maybe the timing isn't right. Maybe just take some space. Maybe just wait. Wait for the clarity if you're emotional. And if you're not manifested, don't initiate. Wait for the spaciousness, for the unfolding to happen. That moment, that pulse of there and gone. 
of knowing or not, particularly if knowing is something inside of you that you can rely upon indeed to be true. Much love to you, my friends. Prepare for the week ahead if it's right for you to take advantage of the first line detail-oriented study day. And until next time I see you, namaste.